Our fourth and final game of the second day of the Horizon League softball tournament is coming your way on ESPN Plus. And it features the number one seeded Youngstown State Penguins against the fourth seeded Norse of Northern Kentucky. I'm John Herrick. It's great to be with you on 2-1 on its way. Sent high in the air, might find the gap. No, because Haley Niedercore did a heck of a job getting over there for the first out of the game. Sent high in the air to left and held on to and caught by Macy Littler as she retires Jenna Rhodes. Lineup. And got her to go down. So a good start for Devin Ryan and the Youngstown State Penguins. They come up to bat for the first time when we. Fessler, graduate senior, the pitch. Got just enough of it, but might give a NKU defender enough time to get underneath it. That's what happens. It's Brielle DeMemo, the left fielder. Scored in is the fourth inning where they've scored 56 runs as a whole. But Wilkerson slaps it over to the third baseman, Mac Brow, who makes a routine play over to first and Trinity Roberts. 3-0. And that was something that plagued Lauren Hicks earlier tonight. Makes contact, but it's playable in foul territory for Lacer. One runner left on. No score. Second inning next. And Northern Kentucky was able to eliminate Oakland. Maddie Lacer quickly ahead in the count. 2-0. Rips that into left, but it stays in the park. And Macy Littler. Could it be playable? Yes, it is. And foul ground for Sarah Fessler. Second out of the inning. Hit in front, tough play for Ryan, makes it though. And that takes care of the inning and a one, two, three inning at that through an inning and a half. Imler also a senior. Tough play, over to third, bobbled it a little bit, but Robertson able to wheel it in. One, two. Put in play, Hicks to grab it, the throw. Well done. That is the. Th oh, two, got her to go down swinging. And another one, two, three inning that we have seen in this game. And the three, two, just missing for ball four. First walk issued by De That one, contact made, into left. Littler's got it. And you can tell the minute that ball cracks the bat. And of course, they have a specific chant for her that they like to use. And it gets past Ryan, play at second. Throw to first, they don't get her. But Jillian Jaxey was able to tag out Dimimo. Scored. When you look at it in total. That one goes off the glove of Rinaldi. And to second base goes Brow. It's wild pitch of the season. And grabbed by Simler on to first. Close play, but the right play. And they're able to get it done. So, O2. Foul tipped into the glove of Lacer. Second strikeout in this one for Lauren Hicks. This is single season wins record this year as well, overall with 36. But popped up here by Belke. Caught by Robertson. Fessler. 
Right there is Lemonier, and the inning is over. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on. 3-1. And for the second time in this game, Ryan has walked a batter. Again, she has the fewest walks on the pitching staff coming in. The bunt picked up, firing to first. Right play by Dean. She threw it to Jaxi, who was covering first for her. And that is playable for Jaxi. The throw to first does its job. But it also advances Rhodes to third base. So can Northern Tucky get that runner from third? Got her to go down, and the runner from third is stranded. Bottom of the fourth. Can Youngstown State build on that moment in the MLB draft? And on the 0-1, driven into right by Lydia Wilkerson. Neither team has been able to get a hit in this game yet. This to a lot of pitchers this year. The count is full. And how about that? Jaxie has reached. Make that a trend again. Dean goes down. So Hicks has struck out Dean, Littler, and Niedercore. The one-two. Imler hits it right back to Hicks, and the inning is over. And through four, no score in this Horizon League softball game. Sydney Barnes, Brielle DeMimo, and Tatum Biddle. Barnes hits that down the line. That is ruled fair. It is fair. Littler has to go over and dig it out near the fence. And there's your first hit of the game for either team. And it comes off the bat of Sydney Barnes. 60 pitches. The windup and the pitch to DeMimo. The bunt laid down. Only one play for Ryan is to first. Well executed sacrifice by DeMemo, and Barnes goes to third. It's like they've got a song for everything in every situation. Grounder goes through Jaxie into the outfield, and the Norse take a 1 0 lead. Wow. And that is ruled an error on Jill and Jaxie. The fielding for Northern Kentucky has been solid. The fielding for Youngstown State has been really good too, but Jaxi just misplays it. I think she needed to get to her left. The has been held hitless. 3-2. Runners on first and second with one out. That one is fair, down the line. Scooped up by Littler. One run is in, the play at third, not in time. Runners at second and third with one out and Northern Kentucky ups their lead to two to nothing. Scores Tatum Biddle. Nothing anybody could do about that. It was over Simler's head and in front of Littler and there in comes a th the 1-1. One, one. Hit back in the field. A collision! A collision at second base between Lemonier and Simler, and I think they're going to call out Lemonier. Yes, they're calling her out for interference. Yeah, she de she definitely runs into similar infield umpire. It's been almost 12 hours of softball. The 2-1 pitch over Howell's head into center. One run is in for sure. The bobble by Niedercore. Two runs are in. Four nothing Norse.
and Paston with two runs batted in there. The 3 2. Payoff. Bases are loaded now. It's, it's hard to explain. It really is. Kohler to third. And ever since then, look at how things have gone for Northern Kentucky. Bouncer grabbed, flipped, no play. Two runs are in. There was no really anywhere to go for it for Jillian ones. Can they turn it around? There's strike three, and the inning has finally come to a close. But Northern Kentucky puts on the heat, and Youngstown State facing an uphill battle when we come back on ES. And she comes up with a big hit. It's the loudest I think I've so far, so far for her in just three earlier. Grounded right back to her, throw to second to get the lead runner. That's all she'll get. That's all right. If you're in her spot, you don't mind that. Rinaldi's thrown out, and there's one down. Got her. And Lauren Hicks has struck out Haley Niedercore twice now. They've got the number one seed backpedaling. Inning over. Catch made by Jenna Rhodes and through five. It's Northern Kentucky leading by six. Howell's able to retire. Biddle there. Car in a road contest. Shining. And Brow hits a hard shot down the right side, but Kennedy Dean is right there to grab it. I mean, young. Pitch number 40. Bouncer rolling. Wilkerson to first. Doesn't get her. Great hustle by Jenna. She's got terrific speed. Because Kohler pinch ran for her, so she had to re-enter the game as a designated player. But she strikes out here. The top of the sixth is over. But it's crunch time for Youngstown State. They got to get it going in the bottom of the sixth. Down. Chopper. Fair. Down the line. Mac Brow couldn't get a hold of it. Double for Fessler. Second hit of the game for Youngstown State. And Wilkerson can't catch up to it. For Lauren Hicks, strikeout number five to two walks. Stays in the park. Two away. Second put out of the night. I'm John Herrick. Great to be with you on ESPN Plus. And Dean nails that off the fence in left field. And that's an RBI double. Well, there's no six run play in softball. You got to get it back a little bit at a time, and that certainly helps. One run on two hits in the inning now for Youngstown State. So is this the thing that gets them going? Emler. Reaches out, but right to the first baseman, Trinity Robertson. And one run is all Youngstown State gets. Seven total runs in a game that's heading to inning number seven on each. The number two seed, Oakland, has already gone home. And number one seed, Youngstown State, on the verge of doing that. 
as Matty Lacer laces one into center field. In the case, the 2 2 goes down looking. That at bat, though, did go the way she had hoped. The Northern Kentucky dugout. And the throw. I think it went into the outfield. Yeah, the throw went into the outfield, not where they were hoping. And Lacer had stolen the base. And there's all kinds of confusion. So Rinaldi catches this one and strikes out. And the ball ricocheted and hit off the helmet of Sidney Barnes. Wow. Okay. And while that happened, Matty Lacer stole second base. And they're calling both of them out. Both batters out. Well, that's a break for Youngstown State because that means the inning is over. But they She's one for two with a single. Only three hits in this game for Youngstown State. And she's got one of them, and now she grounds out. Most prolific offense in the Horizon League. But Northern Kentucky has just made it difficult. Two down. That's the, the three, two. Back up the middle. Niedercore keeps it alive for the moment. Four hits in the game. The pitch. Driving it into center. That ball is... Over the wall and gone! A two-run shot. All right, so the Youngstown State Penguins have some life here. Niedercore scores as part of it. Ella Lemonier, the center fielder, just had no more room to go, leaped up, and you see the look of frustration. So it's 6-3 to three now. Something to say about it. The 0-2. Got her swinging, and the Northern Kentucky Norse have upset the Youngstown State Penguins and ended their season. 6-3. Northern Kentucky advances to Saturday, and Youngstown State's Horizon League tournament is over. The number one seeded team and the host school go down in defeat today. Wow. And what grit Northern Kentucky showed. The defending champions from last year, the four seed, don't have the greatest record on paper, but that's okay. Late in the season, it's all about how well you're playing towards the end of it so that you can keep your season alive. And Northern Kentucky has gotten it done. And you just feel so bad for the Youngstown State players.